in fact the american people is right completely true who come into this country they don't know well okay i'm good but uh, how if they're not good how they killer psychopath else mm -hmm. uh, no guarantee of that why like like no no security no security check no background check no security check no background check you're worrying about who's crossing the border yes yes, yes. They are, of course me because i'm like People are not look normal. President Biden has opened our homeland to the world's criminals. Under his leadership, over 9 million illegal immigrants have crossed our southern border. 9 million people. That's more people than the population of 75% of our states. Month after month and year after year, the Biden administration is shattering all the wrong records. For example, CBP has reported 1.6 million known gotaways in the last three years, a stark increase from the 1.4 million known gotaways we saw in a 10-year span from 2010 to 2020. And that's just the known gotaways. Who really knows how many people have gotten past CBP undetected? And these aren't just plain old numbers, folks, okay? They're people that too often include violent criminals who harm Americans. Hardly a day goes by without hearing of another American who has fallen victim to crimes perpetuated by the illegal immigrants the Biden administration has let flood into our country. We all read the stories of the illegals arrested on serious criminal charges and post bail, never to be heard from again. Where are you guys from? What country? Pakistan. Pakistan. India. India. Where are you from? Turkey? Yeah. Turkey. Okay. India. 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 Where are you guys from? Turkey. 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 Turkey? Where are you guys from? China. China. Ecuador. Ecuador? Where are you guys from? India. 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 All India? India. India. Iran. 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 Massachusetts does not consult with federal immigration authorities before placing migrants in shelters. We learned that today in a statement. The director of the ICE Boston field office says people should be made aware of potential public safety risks in state provided housing. But the fact of the matter is there is a difference between American citizens that are committing crimes and illegal immigrants who are committing crimes against American citizens. The difference is that many times those illegal immigrants who in my bill, I am asking ICE to detain so that they can go to their hearings. Um, I'm asking ICE to detain them, not voluntarily detain, not, not um, maybe have someone release them early, but they will be detained to face justice. Um, many times those illegal immigrants are operating under assumed names, under assumed social security numbers. We don't know their true identities. Many times they don't have roots in communities. So what has happened, and we know this to be true because it happened in the case of Sarah Root and her killer, is that Edwin Mejia, that's at least one of the names that this gentleman used while he was in the United States. When he was released on bond, he was able to slip into the shadows. And the authorities were not able to trace him. They were not able to find him. Why? Because he was an illegal immigrant operating many assumed names, operating out of many different communities with who knows what family or what contacts. When American citizens are committing crimes, oftentimes we can trace them. We know who they are. We know who their family members are. We know where they've worked. It is very different 
with those that enter the country illegally. We can't trace them. We can't find them. The families like Sarah Root's family, Michelle Root, Scott Root, they will never see justice for their daughter. Because the man that killed her was released and slipped right back into the shadows where he came from. This family in Council Bluffs, Iowa, will never see justice for their daughter. Many of these other families will never see justice for their loved ones because our law does not require ICE to detain and hold. And ICE says all of those arrests you just saw happen because local authorities ignored their detainer request to keep these guys in custody due to sanctuary policies. ICE says all of those suspects will remain in federal custody until their local charges are resolved. Then ICE will seek to deport every single one of them. Wow. We'll send it back and, to you. And, and <clears throat> Mr. Secretary, you took an oath to protect the country from enemies, both foreign and domestic. I believe in many respects you violated that oath. Let me start with the Immigration Nationality Act. It states that, quote, the government shall take into custody any alien that has committed an aggravated felony. Those are dangerous, violent criminals. End of quote. And as you know, you're an attorney, as am I. Shall is mandatory language. It doesn't say maybe. It doesn't say, well, whatever you think at the time. It says shall. That, those are words by the Congress. Mandatory language means you shall detain. Yet in September 2021, your memo to your Border Patrol agents titled Guidance for Enforcement of Civil Immigration Law, you instructed your Border Patrol officers not to take prior criminal conduct into account when taking enforcement action. Whether you say whether a non-citizen poses a current threat to public safety is not to be determined according to bright lines or categories. Our personnel should not rely on the fact of a conviction or the result of a database search alone. In other words, you directed your own agents on the ground on the border to defy the laws of Congress, to release violent criminals into our countries. And you know what aggravated felon means under the statute, but for those who don't, it means it includes murderers rapists, pedophiles, and drug traffickers. And God knows how many have been released into this country due to this policy that you issued in September 2021.